Agent Claiborne, Iowa National Defensive Performer of the Year. He also forced four fumbles and scored one very memorable touchdown. It's a great honor to get this award, to be nationally known in the, on the big stage, because I know there's a lot of guys that could have deserved this award. They were playing all the different type of schools, so it feels great to get this award. I'm happy that our team um, finished the, the, the ball game with a victory, and it just feels great. Uh, I, had, I had a couple of good tackles, uh, missed a key one, we won't talk about that, but yeah, it just feels great to get that victory playing against an ACC school in Georgia Tech. They had a powerful, we're supposed to have a powerful um, running attack, and we pretty much shut it down. It felt great. Um, we're looking, looking to get back to, to work right now and come back with a better season. Rick Kaczynski, Iowa defensive line coach. Uh, well, it's a great honor uh, for Adrian, and it's really a privilege for me to coach a, a guy like Adrian, a player of his talent, and uh, you know just the type of person Adrian is. All the accolades uh, that come to Adrian, uh, they're well deserved, uh, and basically uh, all I try to do is not uh, not screw him up. He's a, he's a great talent, he's a great football player, and on top of that, he's just an unbelievable person. Um, well, I think uh, you know we started the season off a little bit slow defensively. Uh, I think Adrian was the type of guy trying to do trying to do too much with the loss of uh, Mitch King and Matt Kroll, two four-year starters. I think Adrian tried to put the defense on his shoulders, trying to do too much. Um, was kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. Well, you know, Coach sat him down. We both talked to him. Uh, came out in the Arizona game, and that was kind of a, uh, a game for both programs, Iowa and Arizona, kind of see where we both were out. It was a defensive struggle uh, for us early on, and, you know, Adrian made some big plays. Uh, had two sacks in that game. Uh, I think there was one play, too, that kind of defined where he ran down Grigsby on a, on a third and one, ran him down behind for a loss. So, to me, in my eyes, that was a defining moment. Then also in the Penn State game, everybody knows that's well done. Documented, the, you know, the block punt, and uh, you know, uh, let's tell you what a good coach I am. I was, I was trying to yell at him prior to that, tell him to back off a little bit so he didn't rough the punter. So uh, fortunately, uh, we we're playing at a loud stadium; he didn't hear me there. But uh, there's plenty of defining moments, and he's just a type of player. Comes to work each and every day, and you know, every play is a big play when you're doing things right, and that's the type of player he is. He's going to do things right every play, execute, and go full speed. Oh, well, I think uh, I think it was right, right there. Was that hey Adrian? Was that bowl preparation uh, where you brought your dog in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we come into the football office, uh, you know, after Thanksgiving on the road recruiting a little bit, and come into football office. And there's a dog running around, so it was Adrian's new new pit bull. So uh, you know, he's just a, he's just a great guy to be around on on a, on a daily basis. I don't know if there's uh, you know there's a day that you don't enjoy being around the guy. Uh, there's not a day that uh, you don't feel better about yourself being surrounded by uh, a player and person like him.
College Football Performance Awards.